so after we have robbed the bank, we go. What the hell, dude? You know the bank's getting robbed, right? Look at this, this dumbass is on his phone. <laughs> what you are you tweeting about this? <laughs> oh, that's so crazy, man. The bank getting robbed. He's up here tweeting and shit. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo 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 this is games and graphics we are back in the building with another gta 5 mod tutorial for you and we are going to be installing the pacific standard heist this one is also made by danish the man 262 shout out to the creator when you get to this link, you want to scroll down and check out the description. Read the full description. Um, after you get done reading the description, you want to come over to where it says 2.1 current and select the green arrow to download. All right. As you can see right here in the description, we have a few uh, requirements. Actually, there is two main requirements right here that we're going to need. Uh, these last two are optional, which is open all interiors and new Pacific Bank interior. All right. Um, I have a video um, on my channel that shows you how to install open all interiors. I will leave a link down in the description to that. But we will not be installing open all interiors today. As you can see, this is an optional. But um, I do uh, suggest installing this if you uh, plan on playing this in other scripts by uh, this author. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the minimum requirements we are going to need, which is going to be script hook V and also community script hook V.net. Okay. So once you have your uh, Pacific standard script hook V and community script hook V.net downloaded, it should look something like this on my left hand side. I have an empty folder, which is three downloads. I have the Pacific standard which is the Pacific Standard Heist and I have the script hook V and also have a script hook V.net alright and on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up right here okay now uh, what we are going to need inside of our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory is a scripts folder okay so if you do not have a scripts folder go ahead and create a new folder and name it scripts all in low caps just like I have right here once that has been created, go ahead and open up that scripts folder. Now let's go back over to our downloads where we had our Pacific Standard folder and open that one up. Inside that folder, what we want to grab are these files that I have highlighted. All right, you want to take these I have highlighted and you want to drag and drop these three files into your scripts folder. All right, now that that has been added, we could go ahead and select Grand Theft Auto 5 to bring us back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Go back over to your downloads, go back. Now next up, let's go into the script hook V folder. Open up the script hook V folder. Inside that one will be another folder named Ben. Open up that folder. You know, go ahead and select these two files that I've highlighted. Drag and drop these two files into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. I already have it as you can see. Let's go back to the downloads, go back, back again. Now let's go into our scripthookv.net folder. Inside that folder, what we want to do is grab all these files I have highlighted. Now you're going to take all these files I have highlighted, drag and drop them into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right. Once that has been done, let's go ahead and minimize any other windows that we have open and run the game. Alright, when you load into the game, I like to always give me a car. <laughs> Alright, you want to open up your map, okay? When you open up your map, you should have this icon right here, okay? It's going to be a green box with a uh, money sign on it. And as you look on the... Um, if you look on the uh, on the list, it says Pacific Standard Public Deposit Bank. All right, this is that bank that's right down here by uh, the movies and stuff like that. Right, so let's go ahead and teleport right over there. 
and as you can see on the map that is the only uh, green icon like that's the only green box icon is uh, that one right there so it's only one bank with that okay the rest of the little blue icons I got those are from uh, ATMs that you could rob um, if you're interested in that I have a video on my channel so go ahead and check that one out Looking real nice there buddy all right let's go ahead and teleport all right and this is where we're going right here to this bank all right when you get here what I suggest if you have a trainer and you have never worn it on I suggest turn and never want it off okay that way you can let the cops come after you <laughs> all right when you get to the bank and get to the, the door, you will see this um, instructions at the top left that says press right to begin the robbery. So go ahead and press that. You look at the, at the bottom, it says take out the bank security guards. And on your mini map, you will see uh, two enemies. It will be uh, security guards. Let me just walk up on the side of them. Smack him. The other bodyguard didn't even see that. Huh? <laughs> Smack him in the head. All right. And at this point, there should be a teller, and he is going to hit the alarm. All right. And look at the bottom of the screen. It's going to say, place a thermal charge on the teller's gate. Okay. Now, you're not going to have a thermal charge in your weapon's wheel, so don't even bother looking for it. Because <laughs> I did it, and it's not there. All right. So you got to go over to the door, and you look in the top, uh, top left. It's going to say, press right to place the thermal charge you press right and you will see uh, Frank or whatever character you're using go into animation I love this part right here it's too bright man my jewels they too bright too much ice and then the door will open up and then we go to this gate and then we press right to place another thermal charge on the gate All right. We're going to block our face from all these damn jewels with all this ice. All right, there we go. Smoke clears. Door open. We go through it. At the bottom, it says, hack the control panel for the bank vault. All right, so we're going to go straight ahead where that little uh, panel is at. Where the blue marker is at on the floor. Walk right into it. Press right to begin the hack. And if you're using the keyboard, it will let you know what button to press if you're using the keyboard, okay? And with this, everybody should be familiar with this. We just have to line up these uh, little bars with the red bar. All right. Got it on the first go. All right. We successfully hacked the panel. Wait for the vault door to open up. Once it does, let's go through here, place another thermal charge on the door, and smoke up everything, and boom, there we go. Now we, at the bottom it tells us to grab the gold, alright, you look on the mini map, you'll see the gold on your mini map also. Just come through here, go through the doors, come to the gold, press right to begin grabbing the gold. Alright. And repeatedly tap A to quickly grab the gold. There we go. And as you can see we're grabbing the gold. And in the bottom in the right corner, it has the amount of money that we are uh, getting. The value actually. Alright, so we got about one million dollars worth of gold. Let's go over here and collect the rest of the gold. Alright, we got over two million. We got about like three, almost thirty-four. I oh, know, over thirty-four. Wow. Okay. Keep going, Frankie. Oh, there we go. Forty-three. Nice. All right, leave the bank. That's what it says at the bottom, leave the bank. Now, this is where the fun part comes in at, folks. <laughs> this is definitely where the fun part comes in at. 
All right. So after we have robbed the bank, we go. What the hell, dude? You know the bank's getting robbed, right? Look at this. This dumbass is on his phone. <laughs> what you are you tweeting about this? <laughs> oh, that's so crazy, man. The bank getting robbed. He's up here tweeting and shit. All right. When you get here, there'll be a cutscene, and you get to see all the cars and stuff pull up. Hey, that's dope. I really love that part, man. For real. All right, and boom. It's lights, camera, action, man. So you better have your god mode on or something. But this is where we go and lose the coppers at. All right. Oh, they're gonna be on you tough. All right. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Oh. Nope. Not a chance in hell, buddy. Damn, that car just flew out the air over there. Nope. I'm sure. You know? You gonna follow me down here? Huh? Y'all gonna follow me down here? I didn't think so. Didn't think y'all would. Alright. So, y'all know the name of the game. Nope. Yep, they sure can. Alright, so we're just gonna chill back here, wait inside here until, uh... We shake off these four stars. Hopefully they don't walk down here. Sometime every now in the blue moon, you'll find a little cop of the month trying to, you know what I mean, get a raise and he'll go the extra mile and just get out the car and walk down here. Alright. I think we got him this time. So once you rob a bank, you're going to have to hurry up, get the hell out of Dodge, and lose the cops. As you can see in the bottom right, I have my take. And when you lose the cops, you will get the highest success screen, all right? Money earned, 4,344,000. Hey, yo. All right. Now once that is done, hey, y'all good to go, y'all. You know what I mean? Whatever hiding spot you was at, you can go ahead and uh, crawl up out of it. Get back to society. And uh, you can go rob another bank. You can go rob the same bank if you want also. Like as much as you want. Back to back if you want. Or you can just go ahead and switch up and rob a couple of these ATMs right there. That's right. That's right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Frankie Boy is going to go ahead and uh, rob this ATM. And while he does that, if you all enjoyed the video, if this helped you all out to install it, go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you have it already and share the video with your friends that are into modding GTA 5 y'all This is games graphics me and big balling ass freak We are out of here till next time y'all GTA online Right, wow, we got $25,000. Gotta go, gotta go. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.